All right, everybody, Mr. Styles is back, and I'm happy to tell you about a untethered jailbreak for iOS 5.0.1 for Apple TV 2. So let's not spend much more time, and let's get started. You're going to need your Apple TV 2. You're going to need your remote, a mini or micro USB cable, and an HDMI cable. You're going to need two pieces of software. One is on the FireCore website for your season pass jailbreak. The other is a program called Putty that will allow you to SSH Neato TV in. The screen looks like this. Basically, you'll look around and you'll find one of the installers that works for you. I'm running Windows. So let's get started, shall we? First things first, click support. Scroll down to Apple TV 2. Click on Jailbreak 101. Here it just, it's just describing which one to use. Choose the one that best fits you. I'm running Windows, so that's the one I'll use. Once it opens up, it's a relatively easy process. Alright, now that it's open, you're greeted with a screen that looks like this. Simply create, click IPSW, and it'll start downloading the original Apple TV iOS 5 updated firmware. So at this point, it's almost finished. It's going to jump over to the screen and have us put it in BFU mode after we connect our Apple TV with our mini USB cable. Once you plug your USB cable in, a white light will begin to flash on the front of your Apple TV. If you see that, everything is going correctly. Alright, so it's finally made it to the other screen. Let's go ahead and plug in. Our white light is flashing. We'll hold down our menu and play button for seven seconds. We're now in DFU mode. It's automatically going to open iTunes and restore. You don't have to do anything except watch it run through its process. Once this is finished, I'll show you how to use the Putty software and SSH Neato TV into your new Apple TV that's been jailbroken. Getting ready to open iTunes up. You'll see it flash a few windows while it searches your computer and finds the Season Pass software. I'm 
Like I said, you don't have to touch a thing. It'll automatically do everything for you. All right, so our restore is almost complete. Once it finishes, we'll unplug our Apple TV, plug it back in, and let it boot up. And I'll show you how to use Putty to SSH Neato TV. In. Unfortunately, I am not able to show you my Apple TV set. I was going to use my video camera, but the video image quality was not good enough. So I'll just show you on the website when you plug it back in, you should see this image right here on your settings. You see that? That's the Firecore logo. That means that your Apple TV has been jailbroken and you are now ready to need a SSH Neato TV. Now don't worry if you get an error message like that. That's no big deal. Sometimes it tells me successful, other times it tells me an error message, but when you plug it back in, you should have your fully jailbroken Apple TV. Alright, so my Apple TV is booted up. I entered in all my information. When it asked if I wanted to allow Apple to collect data, I tell it no. It's your choice. And I do have the Firecore logo on my settings menu. So we'll click on settings, general, about, and we'll get our IP address so that we can enter it into Putty. Type that in. When this screen right here comes up, these are the commands you're going to enter in order exactly as they're entered. Now, this usually takes a second. It's going to read and then it's going to give us a warning and ask us if we want to move forward. We're going to click yes. We're going to log in as root. Passwords Alpine. Alright, now we're into our Apple TV. We're going to type apt-get update. Now it's going to run through, update the Apple TV, and update all the packages inside of your Apple TV. Now that it's finished with its update, we go back to the root. Now we type apt-get install. com.neato.neato TV. Enter. Just press Y and hit enter, and it'll upload Neato TV in. Now 
Now that that's finished, you type this exactly as I type it in. Kill all, capital A, capital TV. Now, as soon as you hit this, As soon as you hit that, your Apple TV will go black and refresh itself. Type in exit, and once your Apple TV is refreshed, you now have Neato TV, and you can go in and in install XVNC or other types of programs. Now, if you're like me and you have the ATV2 flash black, there's no need to SSH Neato TV in when you upload a TV flash black, it just automatically gives you an option to install Neato, XBMC, and other softwares. I hope you like my video. I hope it's informational and it helps you out. If you like it, please comment, please rate, and subscribe. And I will upload more videos. Thank you, and have a great day.